What's up, baby? How we doing? Huh? What up, bro? How we doing? What up? What up? What up? Oh! He spin moved him. Oh! Uh. Nice to meet you. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice your, to meet your you. Story is awesome. Like Thank you so much. Because I'm in recovery myself. So. Congratulations, bro. How much time you got? Just shy of six months. Hey. So bro, all that matters is one day in. at a time. That's it, man. That's what it's all about, bro. You never want to admit that you're an alcoholic. And I think that's the most important step is just looking in the mirror and be like, all right, let's stop playing. But it's just taking the first step, doing it over and over and over again, and then just stacking days. Set, hit. Raiders defensive end Max Crosby says he discovered alcohol as a teenager and used it as a way to fit in and manage social anxiety. When I first started drinking, I was like, oh my God, like I can go up and talk to this girl. I can go and be myself and fun. And like, I fell in love with it from the first drink. I was like the life of the party type of person at first. But at the same time, like I always took it too far. Like I was always the one throwing up and always blacking out. Max says his drinking escalated when he got to college at Eastern Michigan in 2015. Two years later, he met his now fiance, Rachel Washburn an Eastern Michigan soccer player. They were in love, but she says it became painfully difficult to stand by Max as his alcohol dependency grew increasingly worse. You would just leave for like days at a time. And like, you would leave Thursday, come back Sunday, same clothes. What was kind of frustrating too though is because he could compartmentalize it and then go wake up Monday and play football. A DUI before his final season at Eastern Michigan led to Max getting an ultimatum from his head coach to clean up his act. It would work temporarily. I was just white knuckling it, <laughs> which is I was sober, but I wasn't getting help. And then there were some people like Rachel, she knew everything that was going on. And she was like trying to tell everybody like he's way out of control. I felt like I was screaming down a dark hallway and everyone's like, Figure it out. So you were feeling completely alone. No wonder is it. I put her through hell and nobody knew like the extent. Nobody even believed her. Like I've, that's such a sad, lonely like feeling. And like that still hurts me to this day. Despite his struggles with alcohol, Crosby's career was taking off. The fourth rounder recorded 10 sacks as a rookie in 2019 but compartmentalizing his personal life finally hit a breaking point. I threatened to leave like a million times and I've never left. But I finally left though, like it was such a good feeling for me. I was doing well to the outside world. Like I was just runner up for rookie of the year. Everyone's like, Max is killing it. But like I was wild as I was drinking mainly. I was smoking. I was doing coke here and there. I was off the wall. I'd take a pill that I didn't even know what it was. Like, it was scary. Can you walk me through your darkest day, your rock bottom? I woke up in my, in my house here in Vegas. I was all alone. I was literally, my whole bed was filled with sweat just from all the alcohol that was in my system. I was so dehydrated, like it felt like I was about to overdose. I felt hopeless, like I didn't even want to be here, type hopeless. That's when I knew, I was like, this, if I don't get help now, like I'm, I'm done for. Do you really believe that? 100%. I wouldn't have lasted another year, six months. Max needed a lifeline. He reached out to Rachel, his agent, CJ LeBoy, and the Raiders. And with Rachel's support, Max entered rehab on March 11th, 2020. Like my mindset changed once I went into rehab. Like that was the first time I really like stood up for myself. I didn't give a damn what anybody said. I'm going to rehab and I'm, I'm, I have problems. Following second team all pro and pro bowl selections in 2021, Crosby signed a four year extension with the Raiders worth nearly $99 million and it came on March 11, 2022, two years to the day that he entered rehab. You have been 
to hell and back with him. Oh yeah. I wish it was a little bit easier <laughs> at times, but no, we're, we're like here. And we like finally made it over the mountain, so it feels good. And now these are happy tears, so. <laughs> Go. Okay, Riker, take off. Go, Boogie. Boogie. I just had to keep doing the work. I know it's not easy. I, I'm in my own skin every single day. It's not easy at all. I have moments where I'm irritable, discontent, things like that, but that's really all it is for me, just staying on the right path and just taking it one day at a time.